What's up, YouTube? It's your brother Kmon, man. I'm back with another one. So we down here in where the hell we at? Port Wentford, Georgia. I think I'm saying that. Port Wentford, Georgia. So we picking up uh, a load. We taking it down to Florida. Uh, one pick, two drops. So we picking up today. We got to drop it off tomorrow. So I wish I could drop it off today and just start heading back. But so we dropping off tomorrow. The problem is going into Florida is getting out of Florida. So if you're going into Florida. You definitely have to get the money going in because there's a strong possibility that you're not going to get nothing coming out. And if you do get something com coming out, you're definitely getting paid uh, gas money for the most part, unless you just get lucky. At least I, I haven't got lucky yet. Every time I go to Florida, I come out of there deadhead. This one, I had to deadhead 270 miles from the house to pick this one up. And I got to go another 300 miles. So it's going to be a total of 570. So this load right here is paying me two thousand dollars calculating the deadhead going back home i still make a dollar 79 which is not bad for going to come right back but i'm definitely trying to catch something coming out of here because i want to keep my rate per mile up high because a lot of times you'll be doing good with your rate per mile then you get hit with a deadhead and then your total miles over the course of the week you'd be like damn i was over two dollars now this deadhead just killed my my rate per mile so you may be getting good loads during the week or whatever, but it just takes that one load that just to throw everything off off course. Still money out here. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel, man. Yeah. Like, subscribe to the channel. No. Thank y'all for showing me love on the channel. And we out here rolling, man. Just trying to get better at this dispatching myself. I actually work with a company that actually dispatches for me for free. I shouldn't say free because I know they take something off the top, but... I get what I ask for, so whatever they take is whatever they take. It works out for me, so I'm looking for loads, and I got another dispatch company that actually looks for loads for me as well. So it frees me up a lot of times for having from having to be on this load board all day. Because the thing about dispatching, yeah, you can do it for yourself. It's not hard at all. You definitely want to have a little knack for it though, for negotiating, going back and forth with these brokers, and be have the ability to be patient. They will jack you. So you got to know what you're talking about. But it takes a lot of time, especially out here driving. While you driving, you're on the road, you looking at constantly looking at your phone, which is a safety hazard, one. Looking for loads while you're driving. And Lord forbid you got to call one and you ain't got a, a packet filled out. And you're trying to secure this load while you're trying to drive. It just don't work. You have to pull over. You start losing time from your driving. So it could be hectic. It could be done. It just sometimes it's hectic. hectic. Because you can't wait till you stop. But then a lot of times, if you're not looking at these boards, you're going to miss those good loads that come up. And you really want to take advantage of those good loads because it helps you out. But that's just my little tidbit on that. But I'm going to talk to y'all when we get to... I guess we might we might do a hotel. Since I gotta, I'm gotta, i having a little time. So we might do a little hotel. I don't think I'm going to sleep in uh, the truck tonight. But wherever we stop, we're going to talk. So I'll let y'all. Hold on. All right, all right. So we loaded and we about to get trucking. Florida, here we come. I don't wanna wait. Wait, wait, wait. I don't wanna wait. Wait, wait. Yo, yo, yo. YouTube. This is the type of stuff y'all gonna deal with when y'all come out here on this road. Let me let me let me show y'all. Let me tell y'all what's going on. So down here in Florida, raided right down in Florida. Got tired last night. I didn't want to cut the camera on when I was got to the hotel. But I'm gonna show y'all. So we get to the the shipper, right? No, the receiver. And uh, pull in. Think I'm about to get unloaded, right? So I got. All these boxes, I think they're water coolers, that I have to unload. Now, if you can see right here, these pallets. These are smaller pallets, so you need the smaller pallet jack with the, uh, the little forks on them are a lot closer, so you can get into these pallets. 
Now the pallet jack I have is a standard one. It's a wide pallet jack, and it won't work on these right here. So when I got to the chipper, when I loaded it up, I had to use their pallet jack to load the truck. Now they saying they won't come on the truck with their forklift because it's a box truck, which is fine. I don't need you on my truck anyways. But how y'all not gonna have pallet jacks to take off? The damn pallets y'all do this all day so now i'm communicating back and forth with the broker on how we finna get this off so i guess they were trying to work it out i don't know if they're gonna have to go buy one or what's going on so but in the meantime between time i gotta sit here so this load right here was a one pick two drops so I got to drop off 16 of these and then I got two more in the back that's going to Clearwater, Florida that I need to take off so I can get back home because ain't nothing coming out of Florida. Well, you got some lows, but they're not going back to Georgia where I need to go. And if they do pop up, they're gone within 40, 50 minutes. I mean, 40, 50 seconds and they paying you about 80 cents a mile. So make sure you get paid going into Florida because yeah good luck coming out getting some out of here paying but yeah that's the stuff you got to deal with man so be prepared if you're jumping into this game every situation it's gonna be a little different so you gotta have a little patience because you will be waiting at some of these shippers and receivers and some of them don't have the best attitude so pro tip keep your cool when dealing with them because if you piss them off just because you pissed off that's gonna make them even keep you here longer. So, that's a pro tip. Piss them off, they liable to leave you sitting out there for a couple hours for real, for real. But good thing you might get some detention pay. But yeah, so, until next time. Just wanted to share that with y'all, man. So, I'll let y'all know how I go, how we get this done. And I'll holler at y'all the next time. Peace. Just so y'all know, I'm finishing up this video. It was it's been about a week later. I was so upset that I couldn't even pick up the camera, man. To make a long story short, I'm not gonna drag it out. I end up having to lay over another day to get that load up off my truck. So I end up having to go to another facility for them to get it up off my truck and then go to the final destination. But long story short, man, they had to pay up. I end up making 27. 27.25 for that load that made up for me having the dead head back too so i still the everything i think going up there and going back with the dead head i still average like 209 a mile they had to pay me man i was so hot well i was hot i ain't gonna even lie to you but stuff gonna happen like that out there man you just gotta regain your composure and just understand man this is this trucking Everything gonna go the way you want it to go so man y'all keep trucking y'all keep doing your thing stay positive and remember be excellent. Be better than you were yesterday. Peace.